Hi guys, this is Shinash Sharma and in this session we will discuss the derived table in the SQL Server. What is the SQL derived table? Derived table is a subquery which is nested within a from clause. It's a technique. Technique means like you can generate a temporary result sets in the memory which can be processed faster. Generally, the use of the derived table is to break the complex query into a small logical stack. And that derived table, the scope of the derived table is limited to only the outer query. It means that result sets can be used within the outer query, within the body of the outer query. Why do we need the derived table? Suppose we have a very complex query and rather than writing the complex query, we can divide that complex query into small logical steps and we can return the result of those logical steps as a table to the outer query. In that case, we can use the derived table. Now we check the demo of the derived table in SQL Server. So we have a four tables. First of all, we have the educations. In this table, education ID is the primary key and these are the textual name of the education, bachelor, master, ms. Second table is the department. Again, department ID is the primary key and then department name, ITHR sales account. Next one is the cities. Again, city ID, primary key and then city's name, London, Washington, Bangor, Belfast. And finally, we have the employee table. In employee table, we have the employee ID, first name, last name, education ID. It's a foreign key from the education table. Then salary and join year department ID. Again, it's a for foreign key from the department table and city ID again, city ID from the city's table as a foreign key. Now, suppose I want to display the full details of the employee, including the education, department name and the city name in textual format. So what I can do, the first technique is I can join on the tables. So if you see this query, select M EMP ID, first name, last name, salary join year, then edu. This is the alias because we have joined this employee table with the education table and edu is the alias. Second is the DP. Again, it's an alias from the department table. We have joined the department table on basis of the department ID in both table. And the same thing we have done with the city, CTY. Again, it's an alias. The city ID is the common both table. So we have joined. If I execute this query, so I get the full details, including the education, department name, and the city name. So this is the first technique we can use for the complex queries. And the second technique for reducing the complex part of the query, we can create the view. Create view, VW, demo, S. If we create this view, now, it means we can access all these columns without using the any join because the join part is high hidden in the view. So we can access all the columns from the, this view. Like this view. But there is a drawback with this view. When you create the view, View is a database object and it is created permanently in your database. It's a drawback. Now, how to use the derived table? As I told you, derived table is a technique where the inner query means the nested query return the result in a table form. So, first of all, we create the outer query from then bracket, close bracket and now then as 
name of table temporary table name say it could be anything derived table now so this part is the nested part and this part will return the result set temporary result set in a table format and name of the table would be the derived table so it's like a regular query select star from derived table if i execute this table now so you can see so in this part we can write the complex part and then finally result is written to the main query means outer query even we can write the some condition here where department id equal to 2 if i execute this one so i get the error because this department id is not included in this select statement so i can include dp dot department id then comma now if i execute this one so i get the result whose department id is equal to 2 so this part is called the derived table so this is how you can create the derived table so guys this was about the derived table in sql server thanks for watching the video